G'day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Great White Shark of the United States. Now the last few weeks we've talked about uh, can Great White Sharks be found uh, in UK waters or Indian waters. Now we know that Great White Sharks can be found off the coastline of the United States. So today's video is going to be a really quick and short one. I'm going to answer a question that was asked a few weeks back and that is why are Great White Sharks uh, starting to turn up off of Cape Cod? I'm going to try and answer that, but we're also we'll just just have a, a general talk about where great white sharks can be found as well. Now, before we move on with that, I just want to let you guys go, know that uh, I'm not a shark expert. I'm just someone who's fascinated with sharks, and uh, that's why I do these videos and want to talk about them. So if I make a mistake uh, in one of my videos, let me know in the comments section down below and hopefully I can improve on these videos in the future as well. But uh, we'll kick it off. Now the grey white shark can be found all the way from the, the west coast, from Mexico all the way up to Canada, uh, even on the east coast from Florida all the way up to around Cape Cod. Now the reason why uh, the increase in uh, encounters with great white sharks off of Cape Cod now is simple, it's food source. The great white shark's main food source, the sea or sea lion in that area, has increased by huge numbers over the years. So if you have an, a main food uh, for a predator increase, uh, the encounters with great white sharks are going to increase um, in huge numbers. And I think you know, over in the last... Oh, I think in the last 12 months, uh, there's been a couple of fatalities in that area with um, uh, swimmers encountering great white sharks. So um, unfortunately, um, uh, over the next couple of years, you're going to probably find that the, uh, uh, the numbers of great whites are going to increase uh, as long as there's a major food source for these sharks, uh, which are the sea lions and seals. So I think in future, uh, your governments or whoever uh, looks after the beaches and that are probably going to have to start looking into uh, uh, shark protection or something or uh, letting the general public know that uh, the risk of encountering great whites and these areas are going to increase and you, you're going to have to just start being a little bit smart about when you go to these beaches and that. So that's my reason. I may be wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, let, obviously let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, hopefully that answers your question. I can't remember who asked, uh, asked that. But uh, that's my feeling is that uh, the seal population in that area has increased. Uh, and that's the reason why uh, the great whites are starting to return in that area because they, they know there's a food source there. And uh, I know great white sharks um, don't hunt humans. You know, we're not their main food source. But uh, when you put uh, humans and sharks and sharks' main food source in the same waters, uh, there's, you know, there's bound to be a encounter which will turn out for as a, a fatal encounter. Now, sharks in the West Coast, I'm just going to probably not ramble on too much uh, on that. We know that great white sharks can be found off of California waters. You've got San Francisco, there's the Red Triangle. Uh, great white sharks can also uh, migrate all the way down to uh, Mexico, to the Baja Peninsula, where I do believe there's actually a great white nursery there where great whites breed. And there's also an area out um, out in the Pacific somewhere where great white sharks uh, over a couple of months go out to... Um, well, scientists are not too sure on what they do out there, but they call it the uh, Shark Cafe or something, the Great White Shark Cafe. And uh, there's something out there that attracts the Great Whites there. And the, the scientists are not sure what it is because they, they don't know what type of food source is out there, but uh, they certainly go out there for some reason. So, But uh, hopefully uh, that uh, helps you with the question with the... Um, Cape Cod one, whoever aren't <laughs> asked me that, uh, but uh, grey white sharks can be found west coast, east coast, uh, all over the place, and uh, you know they're a beautiful creature in that, and they obviously do need to be protected uh, for the future uh, generations as well. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you drop a comment down below, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.